What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how you can sync a Fire Stick remote to another Fire Stick. So you're going to want to use this, say if one of your remotes is broken or you lost a remote or anything like that. Just say you need a remote and you have an old one or you have one that someone gave to you and you just want to sync it to your Fire Stick. After this video, you're going to be able to do that with no problem. So be sure to stick around to the end so you can catch step by step exactly how to do this. And I got another bonus uh, tip in here for your Fire Stick remotes where you will never need another Fire Stick remote if you don't want one. So that being said, let's get right into the video. If you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel turn on them post notifications smash that like button if this helps you out now let's get right into showing you this so say your remote to your fire stick broke right but you have an old fire stick even a first generation and you just want to be able to use your remote say until you get a new one or even if you just want to use that old remote for the rest of your fire sticks life um, now I'm going to show you how to sync it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is come all the way up to the top and scroll to the right over to settings. And you're going to come all the way over until you see controllers and Bluetooth devices. You're going to click on that. And you can scroll down to where it says other Bluetooth devices. Now, if your remote is broken... You're not going to be able to do any of this, right? Because you have no way to scroll into the settings menu because you have a broken remote and your other one isn't synced yet, right? So I'm going to show you what you can do on your phone, assuming that you have a smartphone. Any smartphone will work, iPhone, Android, any of that. So I'm going to switch over to my phone. And I'm going to show you how to do it, what you got to download on your phone to make this next part work. Okay, guys, so now we're on my iPhone. And this will work on your Android device, too. But either way, you just come to your App Store, whether it be the App Store or Google Play. And you're going to come to the search bar. You're going to search Fire TV Remote, Fire Stick Remote anything like that just click on it and you're going to want to go to the one that says fire tv um, don't go to any of these other ones here you want to make sure you come to this one that's actually made by amazon and you're just going to download and install it okay now i'm going to pull it up and open it up to show you what you got to do so we're just going to click this open it up and once you open it up, I already have mine connected to my Fire Stick. But you would just follow the prompts. You would um, connect it to your Fire Stick. And then you're going to click on it. And once you click on it, sometimes it will ask you a pin that pops up on your TV. And all you got to do is type in that four-digit pin. But then once you're open to this screen, you can see I'm just scrolling down and I have control over my fire stick so what you would want to do is come down click on other bluetooth devices okay click add bluetooth device and once you're on this you're going to hold down the home button on your new remote so whichever remote you're using um like to to set up for the new remote then you're going to want to hold that home button down for 10 seconds at least. And then once it's discovered, it's going to pop up on here. And then you're going to go ahead and click on it. And it's going to add the Bluetooth device. So even if you don't have a remote, all you need is a cell phone. And you should be able to do this. Now put in the comments down below if you're having trouble with it. And I'll be sure to help you out if I can get to you. I usually get back to my comments pretty quick. 
But for now, we're just going to cancel it and go back. But like I said, guys, it's this is another way um, because a lot of people, they have a remote, right? But they can't get to the settings menu to even click on add another Bluetooth device. So using this screen on your uh, Fire TV remote app, um, using it on your cell phone, it's a lot easier to get to it, and it's going to make it possible to even get into your settings menu. Now, the other the trick I was talking about um, to never need another remote is you can just use this app. Um, you don't have to use a Fire Stick remote. So the app has every single button that you need. So let's just click home here. Let's go home. And all you got to do is just flick down and up, and you can move around easily. See, I'm just using my phone right now. I'm not using the regular remote. Um, we can come over here, and let's just open up something. And it's simple. I mean, you can come to the top, click on anything you got to click on, and it's just real easy and simple to use. So I hope this video helped you out, guys. I hope you can uh, make sure now that your remote is working. And if you are having trouble, um, make sure to just put it in the comments below if it's helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I appreciate all the views and all the likes and stuff. It really helps out the channel. The channel's growing a lot right now. Uh, one thing real quick before I uh, go, I'm just going to show you. If you look in the link in the description, I got a link to IP Vanish. It's a great VPN, and there's a crazy deal going on right now. Be sure to get it while you can. It's about $3 a month if you get the whole year, um, which is crazy. So if you don't know what a VPN is, I highly recommend that you check out the channel. I got a video breaking it all down, and especially if you're using Fire Sticks, guys, you need this. And if you don't get the um, IP Vanish, make sure you get at least a free one like Proton VPN. With that, guys, I'll leave it to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.